Hello. So I'm Hannah from singletrackworld.com and um, I'm here in Idaho in Sun Valley uh, in a town called Ketchum. I've been here for this, all this week for uh, an event called Crank Tank um, which is like a press camp where lots of different brands get together and show us lots of cool uh, some new things, some not so new things, some things that we just haven't seen before, um, but they've been out for a bit. So I was hoping to do lots of live, broad live broadcasts, but uh, this is the place to come for a digital detox. Uh, there is no internet outside the hotel, and I haven't spent very much time in the hotel. Now I know all of you lot think that us bike journeys just, you know, hang around riding bikes. And drinking beer but it's not true um, we've, we've done lots of riding bikes and, and lots of other things as well um, but yeah basically not been here to sit down and just take a breath you know? that, that would be some big American vehicle so I'm sat here on my balcony um, at the Limelight Hotel in Ketchum, and I'm gonna see if I can just try and give you a little peek at the view from here. Because you know, if you just overlook the car park for a minute, a bit of a sunset going on over there, uh, and there's some proper mountains, and you know, that's quite nice, isn't it? And I have to say, it is very, very nice here. Uh, I have ridden some some of some of the nicest trails I think I've ever ridden like they're my they're my cup of tea they're kind of cross country um, not massively technical you can just kind of swoop along you know you could take your kids down them if you could get them up to the top in the first place um, or you can ride them like really fast um, and then there's bike park stuff as well. There's some, like, they've really concentrated on flow trails around here. There's a load of flow trails. There's a load of like top to bottom. You go up in a gondola and just sweep your way down. A um, bit more mellow than some of the stuff I've seen in like the Alps and things. Um, and then away from the bike parks, you've got these, these really unusual shaped hills. Where, and the, let me get it right, the north sides, tend to have trees on and then the south sides tend to be much more kind of baked a um, bit more deserty um, meadowy and there's I've never seen so many butterflies as I have out on the rides here um, and there are loads and loads of trails all throughout that um, and you're allowed to ride on them um, there's a limited amount of e-bike riding that's allowed but yeah there's a there's a whole bunch of access here and the town of Ketchum I keep wanting to say ketchup. Ketchum is um, an amazing uh, bike friendly place. I don't think bike friendly is something we really associate with America a lot of the time. Um, but there's, there's quite a lot of bike lanes. There's a big bike lane that goes all the way around the outside of the town. And you go for a ride along there on a Sunday morning, as I did. And there's loads of families out. Uh, there's people taking their dogs in trailers. That seems to be a, quite a thing here. Um, there's people heading off to the trails. Um, every other shop seems to be a bike shop or a bike shop that's also a ski shop because in the winter, this is a big ski destination. One of the original ski destinations, and it has the Sun Valley Inn, which was one of the first places, if not the first hotel in, in America to have its own um, ski lift. So yeah, it's really outdoor sports um, orientated um, and it's a lot of fun. So, if you can get here, I highly recommend it. Um, there's a bit of a smell of, of smoke in the air at the moment. I, I rather hope that there's not a big wildfire. Um, you can see on the hillsides, they have had some really big wildfires around here. And um, there's quite a lot of burnt trees. But um, yeah, it's an amazing place. And when it doesn't smell of smoke, it smells of I mean, loads of different flowers um, you know, out there with the butterflies. Anyway, enough about Idaho. What have I been up to? Ah, well, I think probably one of the newest, I think this is the, th the thing that's new and new to us and indeed new to most of the world is a new, if I get the camera angle right, oh, it's like it's opposite the way around, a new tyre from Maxis. And this is the Recon 
race. I'll turn it around and it's a cross-country tyre but it's a cross-country tyre that is designed Ooh, I need that. my brain's inside out <laughs> there we go recon race so this is a cross-country tyre designed for the modern cross-country world so it's not quite so slick perhaps as some of the scary fast tyres of old um, it's got cornering knobs on it for the much more aggressive race courses that we're seeing and then these little knobs here you can see these kind of side in between the middle tread and the outside tread these are transition knobs so you don't just get a kind of bald patch between the the, the, the fast rolling center as you turn there is grip on the way around on the corners um, and uh, Nino Scherzer has indeed raced on these already because he raced on a prototype at Mont St. Anne la last year and he won um, part of his perfect season. I have not raced on these but I have been for a very short ride in some very dusty conditions and this kind of small knob tyre and dusty conditions is not something that I am um, we're particularly familiar with but I was surprised at um, how much traction I had um, I thought I'd be slip sliding all over the place and I wasn't so this is the uh, recon race with EXO um, and it will be $64 don't know how the UK pricing yet um, if you want it without the EXO casing, which gives you um, a bit more sidewall protection, then that will be $4 less, $60. Um, and Maxis reckons that most people are going to want the EXO. It's a very slight weight penalty, um, so you'd have to be a real weight weenie that wasn't going to be ne necessarily uh, riding over anything particularly uh, you know, lightly to get your sidewalls. Um, if you were going to go for the version without EXO. You can only buy it in a 29 by 2.25, so one size only. Um, but yeah, very much a cross-country race tyre for the modern age. So there you go. Give you another little look there. Recon race. So I've seen that. Uh, what else? I've ridden quite a few e-bikes and I'll be writing something about that. Um, and I have ridden uh, a Moots gravel bike Ooh, do, 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 up that way. There we go. So Moots is uh, an American company. Been going since I think they said 1981. Um, it's an alligator. It's on that. That's their logo. Um, and they started off making bikes in steel and they've moved over to making bikes in titanium. They've been making them for quite a while in Steamboat, which is somewhere in America, I forget where. Um, and they, yeah, they make their bikes out of titanium there. So I have ridden uh, one of their titanium gravel bikes today. Um, so I should be writing a little bit about that. Uh, and you can see that over on grit.cx soon. So I've got a video with the uh, guys from Moot. Um, I've also not had the chance to ride a gravel bike by Turner. Um, so, uh, but I did. A bit sad about that because it does look like a very nice bike. It's, it's another titanium drop bar gravel bike. Um, but I did manage to get an interview with David Turner who uh, is, hmm, how should we put it? He's very easy to interview. You just ask a question and point the microphone. So, um, yeah, he, he has a, a really nice philosophy about riding bikes and what riding bikes is all about. And asking him about e-bikes was interesting. So you can uh, see that on uh, Single Track World soon. <sighs> so, what else have I done? Well, there's a whole bunch of product uh, that I've been given. And that will be appearing in Fresh Goods Friday over the next week or so. So look out for that. Um, yeah, so I think I might drink my beer. This is a local beer by the Sawtooth Brewery and they've made it specially for Crank Tank. Look, it's even got a bike rider on the front. 
So Sawtooth are the mountains that are over there um, because they look like that, like a saw. Tooth, tooth, the teeth of a saw. Yeah. Anyway, um, I've now got to fit all that product so that I can put it in Fresh Goods Friday into my suitcase, which is going to be quite a challenge. So I think I'd better go and do that now. See you soon. And hello to whoever is actually watching this at whatever time this is in the UK. There's probably like three people in IT or something. Okay then, cheers. Bye.